Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to see Mindy Mom, welcome. Today I'm going to share with you another $5 family dinner, so stay tuned. Okay you guys, if this car wasn't here, you could see that I am sitting outside of Winco. It is a cold, rainy, dreary day. It's actually our second cold, rainy, dreary day, but I am grateful that the temperature is holding steady at 34 degrees here in Tulsa, America, because my friends and family who are 90 miles down the turnpike are at like 31 degrees and are experiencing an historic ice storm. So I got up and around and dressed and ready and I'm wearing my warm fluffy sweater and my beanie and I put my makeup on because I was supposed to go into work today for a rehearsal and then I was going to go run a few more errands and then right as I was walking out the door they called me and said rehearsals canceled because we don't have a quorum with our members. We have too many people who are going to be gone. So I thought well I don't want to waste having put on my makeup and kind of put myself together for the day. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about and you understand where I'm coming from especially if you're working from home right now you probably do. But I just thought, you know, it's on my agenda to film a $5 dinner video this week. So why not go out and make that happen today? So as I said, I am at Winco. We just got one in Tulsa about a year ago. It's not even been a year. It's only been about seven or eight months since Winco opened here in Tulsa. I actually have a fairly popular video on my channel that I filmed with stuff that I bought at Winco. It's a $5 for three days worth of meals challenge. And I will put that up here in a little I card and leave it in the description box below if you are interested in checking that out. But the reason I talk about the weather is because it's definitely soup weather or just you know some kind of warm hearty cozy meal and so that's kind of what I have pegged for this challenge. I ended up spending five dollars and eleven cents so I went slightly over my five dollar budget and I am going to use just a few basic staples from my house like you know oil or butter and some basic seasonings and stuff and I'll talk about that whenever we get into the challenge. But the idea is if you have just a few basic things just the very basic things you could make this work and I'm going to make it work for my family and we'll see how it turns out. So here I am in Winco and I thought that I would show you around a little bit as I pick out some items for my $5 dinner. Here at the front of the store they have lots of items that are kind of on special. Some of them are really great deals and some of them I feel like are just sort of standard prices compared to other stores that I shop at. But I do feel like their produce has a lot of great deals to be found and I love that there are several items that you don't have to buy necessarily in large quantities in order to get a really great price. But what really shocked me the first time that I shopped at Winco was the bulk bin section. They have, I think, either three or four rows of bulk bins with both bulk bin tubs and then the bulk bin containers up above. They have so many different kinds of rice and beans. They have different kinds of flour, but they even have things like pancake mix and gravy mix and egg noodles. And they just have so many different things. I even saw that you could buy K cups from the bulk bin. So you could just buy as many as you want. You can even buy cereal from the bulk bin section at Winco. And of course they have things like candy and nuts and snack mixes as well. And that can come in really handy when you're on a tight budget and just want to buy just what you need. So since it's a rainy cold day this day when I'm filming it, I've decided I want to make some broccoli cheese soup. So I'm going to pick up some of these broccoli crowns and then I want to have some carrots as well in my soup. And I love that you can buy carrots for just 48 cents a pound and just pick out as many as you want. So I picked up just two of those little carrots and then I'm going to need some milk for my broccoli cheddar soup. And I decided just to go with the quart size of milk. Hindsight's 2020. I wish that I had gone ahead and just purchased the whole milk instead of the 2% but I did grab the 2% milk here, $1.25 for a quart or four cups. And here I am back over at the bulk bin section because I know that I want some chicken broth, but the broth and the bouillon cubes were going to bust my budget. So I decided that I would just buy a teeny little bit of that chicken soup broth base from the bulk bin. Cheese was kind of tricky, but I did manage to find these containers of freshly grated cheese over in a section where they had things that you could make your own pizza with. And so they were all different prices and I was able to find one that was just the amount that I needed. I ended up getting that little carton that was $1.11, which will be just fine for the cheese that I need for my soup. And to rev up the cheese flavor, I decided to go ahead and purchase one of these boxes of macaroni and cheese and use the cheese packet from the box to help flavor the soup. And if you're wondering why I am picking up hamburger buns, it's because hamburger buns in my opinion make the cheapest best most deliciousest <laughs> garlic toast you will ever eat 
So here are all of the ingredients that I ended up with from Winco to make some broccoli cheddar soup. I have a quart of 2% milk. I have a little container of cheese that I got from that pizza making section. I have two carrots from the bulk carrot bin. I have a large crown of broccoli and then a small crown of broccoli. It was a pound of broccoli altogether. I have my tiny little satchel here of chicken broth base. You don't have to buy this if you already have like bouillon cubes or you have chicken broth or chicken broth base on hand. I just was trying to stay true to the challenge as much as possible. And I have my hamburger buns, which I'm going to use to make garlic toast later on. Actually, I'm probably gonna have the kids make that because they're really good at it. I'm also going to set aside my shredded cheese because I will not add that until the end when the soup is almost ready to eat. So what I'm going to do is I am going to peel and chop my carrots. I am going to chop up my broccoli. I'm I'm going to put that into the crock pot along with my chicken broth base, my milk, plus a couple of cups of water. And I'm going to use the cheese sauce packet from this macaroni and cheese box. These were only 48 cents a box and I thought this would be a great way to add some cheese flavor to the soup without buying more shredded cheese, which would have put me over budget. The other things that I'm going to use that I did not buy are about half of an onion chopped up and a few cloves of garlic, which I will use my garlic press to mince into the crock pot. The reason that I didn't buy any at Winco is because I have a bunch of it in my refrigerator that I need to use up. I keep buying it for videos. I already have it. If you do not have onions and garlic, you can leave it out completely. Um, you can pick some up at Winco. It will probably only cost about a dollar more to buy one small onion and one clove of garlic. Or if you have dried minced onion, you can use that or onion powder. You could add a couple teaspoons of that or garlic powder or both or add a couple teaspoons of that. So there's some options for you. And then the only other thing that I'm going to use is when we make the garlic toast, I'll show you how we make garlic toast. You could keep it really simple and just toast your bread and dip it into the soup. But we'll probably put some butter and garlic salt and Parmesan cheese on that and I'll show you that whenever it's time. Oh, here comes Ollie. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Right now, I'm just going to get all of this stuff into the crock pot. So I thought about making this on the stove. <gasps> I know. Mindy, do you make anything on the stove anymore? You almost always use your crock pot. But I do have the time to go ahead and get it going in the crock pot. And I feel like with soups, the longer they simmer, the better they taste because all the flavors kind of mingle together. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and just get everything into the crock pot, save for the pasta that's in this box and the cheese because I'll add that at the end. And then um, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Okay, we're going to play a little game right now called Will the Children Eat It? I'm going to name a food and you're going to guess whether or not the children will actually eat that. First off, broccoli. Yes. Carrots. Yes. Milk. Uh-huh. Cheese. You betcha. So you would think that this soup would be a big hit with them because that's basically the ingredients of the soup that I just listed. So let's find out. Okay, my soup has been in the crock pot for a few hours on low now and I snuck just a little taste of the broth and it is really, really good. So I'm going to add my cheese in now and just stir that in. And I did debate whether or not I was going to add the macaroni from the box of macaroni here and kind of let it cook in the broth. But I think instead I'm just gonna cook it up on the stove and I'll let the kids add like a few macaroni noodles to their bowl. But I'm just gonna kind of let the cheese melt and let this simmer for just a little while longer while we make the garlic toast. So Ruthie is demonstrating how we make garlic toast in this house from hamburger or hot dog buns. This is a great way to use up leftover bread as well. She has a few tablespoons of butter, which she melted in that little mug. And then she's using a basting brush to baste that onto the buns. She also sprinkled a little bit of garlic salt into the cup. So that is going onto the buns as well. And then she will sprinkle Parmesan cheese on after she puts the butter on. And we will pop that under the broiler for just about a minute. You have to keep a close eye on it under the broiler or else it will burn. Yep. And then we'll have, yay, yummy garlic toast to go along with our soup. Super easy and very delicious, right Ruth? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so my garlic toast is done. It came out beautiful. It smells delicious. These are the children's bowls. I did put some noodles in theirs. I just cooked those separately on the stove just to kind of bulk it up for them. And then here is my bowl. I didn't put any noodles in mine. Maybe I'll try some later. My husband is coming home later tonight. He had a meeting, so he will have some whenever he gets home. But this tasted really good whenever I tasted it just before I added the cheese. So I have high hopes for this soup. Okay, so here is the verdict on the soup. One child liked it, one child tolerated, and the other child did not care for it. Actually, he's my least pickiest eater, but he didn't really like it very well, but he did eat the toast and he tried a few bites of the soup, so that's okay. I really liked it. It was very flavorful, especially considering just how simple the ingredients were and taking into consideration this is a $5 meal, it was pretty good. I think it would have been better with just a little bit more cheese. With a little bit less broccoli, I bought a big crown, like a normal size crown of broccoli and then like a small crown, and I think I probably didn't need that second like little small crown of broccoli. I think it would have been fine with just the one you know, regular size crown of broccoli, maybe a few ounces of cream cheese or even like a cornstarch slurry or a little bit of like flour and milk to kind of thicken it up a little bit and make it a thicker soup. The flavor was really good. I just wish it had a little bit more cheese and was maybe a little bit thicker, like more like a chowder, but overall pretty good. And of course, you know, the garlic toast, it never fails. So <laughs> I think that's pretty good for five bucks. Got some veggies in, a homemade meal, a nice warm cozy soup on a rainy fall night. So thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give this a like, especially if you wanna see more videos like this, and I will be sure to check in with another video very soon. Bye.